quick look at what the Music International online subscription is all about. It is not a self-learning. It is usually used by a teacher in class. Uh, it could be used as a self-learner during the rest of the week. If you have a one-hour class, then the other 167 hours in a week is available to you for self-learning. So let's look into this. So if I log in with my login, um, it checks your subscription. You say continue and you are now into the subscription platform. Now here it's, uh, you see various sections, uh, A being online and B a to Z of music, C is about recorder. So let's say we want to look at the guitar. A quick look at, I'm going to use the guitar as an example, uh, acoustic guitar. So let's look at quick guitar. We call that quick guitar as opposed to the classical guitar, which is here at D. So let's look at quick learning and quick guitar where the big difference in classical guitar is you have to learn how to read music and play from notation music. Quick guitar, you could do a lot more by ear. So I go to this section, which is the section M. Now in section M, I have various sections. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there are further sections, D, E, and F as well. So now if you look at the M, A, B, initial sections, it's broadly uh, linear in the sense you can go from here downward through this. So it becomes like a lesson plan, but over very quickly, you'll want to learn what you need to learn and you can go to different areas and learn more things. So let's look at guitar types. If I click on guitar types, so these are the various types of guitar. So you can look at it. I just explained to you about the classical guitar and how that works. It uses nylon strings. It's different, shaped different. People sit differently. These are the various types of guitar or bass that you would uh, come across broadly. So there's an acoustic guitar at one, nylon guitar, electric guitar. There's a hybrid or a, a arch type guitar in the middle there. So then you have the bass guitar and the double bass at the end. So these are the different types of guitars. In a class, you we could get into a lot more details about the types of guitars. Uh, also guitar visuals, which are the, you can learn parts of the guitar. So you don't have to, have to be in a class to learn all this. So you could learn this on your own uh, once, you've got, once you're a subscriber. Now, guitar first notes, again, you could take this as a self service, but if you don't understand something, that's where the class starts helping you because it can be explained. Uh, and we can look at a video of you and help you through these, what are all these chords, initial chords. And if you notice, you're not really learning music at this stage. But if you want to, uh, then we start getting into that. And that requires you to understand how the keyboard works. So we can explain to you how a keyboard works. It's easier to understand how these things work on a keyboard. It's more intuitive. And then you can relate that to the guitar and how these notes connect to various parts of the guitar. So all this will be explained in class to you if you don't understand this. So if you're a beginner, uh, you can do all this. You'll be taught a little bit at a time with music or without music. Uh, playing with music makes you a music literate as opposed to not being able to read music, in which case you uh, depend much more on the class. So we will relate this, for example, with keyboard notes and what are the various keys on a uh, typical keyboard. So we'll help you with all of these things. And then you get down to actually playing. So when you get down to playing, you might learn to learn how to, uh, learn how to play notes uh, or rhythms or chords. So if you take, what are the chords? These are the various chords in various keys that you'd have to learn. The key of C, the key of G. Uh, we'll start simple and you can advance uh, further. And we can take a simple song, okay? Basic three chords in the song, which we just saw. But uh, uh, if I go into different keys, so how does that connect to notes and music if you need to? You can actually play it back. For this, you'll need a MIDI to be installed. It's not part of the package, but we'll help you install a MIDI player. So if you click on this, these notes will actually play on a, get, uh, on a guitar and you can learn how to play notes with it. So it becomes a, like a minus one in learning. So this is the methodology we use uh, in uh, explaining to you how this works. Uh, also, as you get further, there's a list of three chord songs. So we have a list of songs by which you can play uh, many songs, which uh, you can learn how to sing or play, accompany something with just three chords. So this gives you a list of, it gives you a list of ideas. So you might choose one or two of these, and then we can uh, proceed from there. So how do I play Red River Valley? So you may want to play the melody for it. You may want to play the bass for it. You may want to play just the chords, in which case the subscription helps you. The, tune will come from this subscription 
and you will be able to play Red River Valley chords to the tune. Alternately, you might say, let the, uh, the subscription pay, play the chords for me and I will play the tune Red River Valley on my guitar. Uh, for that, you'll have to choose the key. You'll understand a little bit of basics. Once you understand the basics, these become ideas in which how you can learn some songs. So we'll teach you one or two songs, three songs uh, at our class, in that one hour of class. But during the week, you can try out other songs. And in the next class, you can ask for, uh, I couldn't do this or I want to learn something different. So there's a whole lot of theory behind uh, many of these things. Uh, you can learn jazz and uh, genre rhythms. See, for example, if you're interested in different types of things, what are the rhythms that make up a waltz, a, a blues or a march? So we'll teach you all that on the guitar and how to uh, play these different genres on the guitar. Uh, if you're interested in uh, how to play Elvis or Beatles, we have chosen a few songs. So let's say you're interested in Beatles songs. How would I play these? We can help you with that. So there is a MIDI file here, but we'll help you play some part of it. Maybe the chords, maybe the, just to sing with it. So we'll help you with the song that you choose from the, this list. Uh, the thing about